Oh my god, it's like a love triangle. Literally a freaking spooky day love triangle. Can we just take a second? I mean, hello. <laughs> Hey y'all, what is up and welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 4 Seasons. Alright y'all, so this is the second time that I have filmed this part for today. Actually, take it back to the third. The first time I filmed, it was a completely different day. It was the day before our current sim day. And I did quite a few things, but I just felt like it was more chill, laid back, getting ready for spooky day party. And, you know, I had her go hang out with... Scott on her day off and they went on a date and she had a great night so let me catch up on that real real quick so yeah like I said after Scott got off work they met for coffee ended up having dinner they clicked right away they get along so so well he is absolutely a freaking dreamboat he is the whole package she almost wonders is it too good to be true he's family oriented he's ambitious he's a detective he's just a good man and what's even better is that he laid it on the line for her and he said look Claire I like you I'm too old to be playing games. I'm ready to settle down and, you know, start a family and find a wife. And I see potential in you. And I don't want to scare you away, but I just want to lay it on you and let you know that I want to pursue you and see where this goes. And she was smitten, like, wow, I've never had anybody like, be that direct with me. And she definitely likes him. But, y'all, when I ended up, you know stopped recording and I was like okay I'm done for the day I played through a little bit she woke up the next morning y'all let me sh look at her face says it all just take in her face and let me show you what what her want was when she woke up to make out with Wyatt and I about had a croak <laughs> because I'm like no 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 I can work with this this will be so much better like this will be a better more fun part for y'all to watch anyways because i mean hello <laughs> so i just found that so funny that she had that great not look at the way he's looking at her oh i can't deal with the chemistry between these two but i just could not believe that after the night she had with scott um that she would wake up and still have wyatt on her mind it's crazy but um, it's actually a uh, spooky day today and they have a party planned for 7 p.m. I believe Wyatt and Carter are about to head off to work. Clara, she is working from home today. So off camera, I went ahead and had her decorate the house for spooky day. So that is her decoration she came up with. I think it looks pretty nice. And then I also came over here and got rid of all of her spring and summer um plants that she had we made a crap ton of money like that's where the money is in this planting I, I heard that you made money off of it but I believe it now so what I want her to do is to open up the seasonal fall um packets that we have here and plant some of these since it is fall time so real quick I want her to come over here and um collect swarm I mean why are they I feel, why are they, uh, why are they, are they supposed to be outside of their little box? I'm not really sure. Uh, why do we need to collect them? I've never seen that option before, but I do want her to come over here and do some planting, you know, while we get ready for harvest day. It looks like Bella is going to come join us. That's really, really cute. All right, so we're going to put some mushrooms right here. Why not? Uh, it looks like this is like a pear tree. So we'll plant some pear trees. Um, what do we have here? We have some holly. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> That's so cute. And then what is this? Dahlia. We'll go ahead, put some flowers. I mean, I know this is so unorganized. What is this? I don't care though. A daisy? Is that a fall? Okay, well, Geek Con is in town. Um, okay, no, no, no. Come over here and plant all your stuff and let's talk. While she is planting, we're going to discuss what has been going on in this brain of Clara's. Oh, God. I, why do we have them following us? I'm so confused right now. But anyways, y'all. Okay. So, in the last part, spoiler alert, if you have not watched the last part... Carter um, already knew about Wyatt becoming a father and Wyatt kind of held off telling Clara because... 
If you've been watching this series from the very beginning, you know that Clara and Wyatt have this weird type of connection, this chemistry. They have these feelings for each other. They care about each other. They haven't told each other. They are just now realizing the feelings they have for each other by themselves, like on their own. So they haven't discussed it between each other. Um, they, they don't even have like any kind of romantic relationship honestly they technically they do it's been like very subtle flirting nothing serious at all um but they care about each other and it's like their relationship and their feelings are a huge elephant in the room that everybody gets and understands um it's obvious to everybody but these two they don't even realize that it's that it's that strong their feelings um so that's why Stevie was kind of like hesitant when, you know, dating Carter because she feels like there's something that he is not telling her about his feelings for Claire. She just is persistent and insistent that there is something going on between these two. So I'm excited to see how the Spooky Day party is going to be. Um, but the night that Wyatt told Clara that he was going to be a father, she, you know, was like, oh, well, wow, that's... Not what I expected to hear, but I'm happy for you. You know, you're going to be a great dad. Um, Stevie's an awesome woman, and, you know, Sim. <laughs> and y'all are going to be great. And, yeah, she just put on a happy face. I was like, yeah, I'm happy for you. That's going to be awesome. But, you know, she went to bed that night and was just like, I need to let that go. Whatever feelings I had, I need to bury that. You know, let that ship sail because... He's got a family he's starting. And he, I, I feel silly because why do I, why am I thinking about him? Why do I wake up wanting to make out with him? You know? And so yesterday when she went on her little date with Scott, that was kind of like her distraction, you know? She was distracting herself um, from her feelings that she has for Wyatt and the fact that that can't be anymore, that he's got a family and he's trying to, you know, make his relationship with Stevie work for their child. But she woke up, nonetheless, thinking about Wyatt. And I just thought that was crazy because I'm not forcing it anymore. I was kind of forcing it, but now I'm not. Like, it's natural that she just wants him. So, yeah, I'm excited. She invited a few people to the party tonight. Um, she, some of her friends that she has met at the gym because she has been going to the gym and working out. And she looks good and she feels good. Of course, she invited Scott. Uh, she's kind of nervous about Scott coming over and meeting, of course. Okay, we need to cheer up self with bees. Woo. I am so confused. What is going on? Hold on. Send to fetch gift, pollinate nearby plants. Why? Are, but okay, this is okay. Pollinate nearby plants. Let's tell them to go. Oh, I have never seen that. That is really cool. Oh my god, these things do come in handy, I guess. I mean, that's awesome. Anyways, what is she doing? Petting Bella? Cool. Um,. Yeah, so for Spooky Day today, we need a trick-or-treat. Oh, we need to be watching the door. I wonder when, I guess maybe the kids, are they at school? We need to come pay our bills, too. Um, we need to wear a costume and have spooky spirit. But, yeah, the party is going to be tonight at 7, like I said. She's nervous for Scott to come because he's going to be meeting Wyatt and her brother Carter. She's nervous, um, you know, to speak to Stevie because she does know that Stevie kind of, feels like there's obviously something going on uh between her and Wyatt so I don't really know I just feel like there's just gonna be a fun time a fun time but I feel like there's gonna be uh some tension if you know what I mean because I'm starting to wonder what Wyatt is going to act like how is he going to act towards you know Clara having a boyfriend or soon to be boyfriend over I'm looking for spooky stuff here it is um I want to put this stuff out here um like on the porch I guess can we put it over here on the porch so everybody can come and like carve their pumpkins it's so cool we'll get like two of them why not um get a sugar and spice candy bowl can we put our candy bowl we can put one here um and then put one over here we'll place this in our inventory real quick now I did watch <laughs> Somebody, I think it was Urban Sims. She had that um, single mom LP. 
And do y'all remember if y'all watch? I'm, I'm sure y'all watch Jim, but I mean, do y'all remember when the the woman at the Sim, the girl, I forgot her name, but she was at a spooky day party and she stuck her hand in the candy bowl and got scared and died. And it was like the biggest like plot twist ever. Uh, I hope that doesn't happen because if my Sims die, I'm sorry, but I can't roll with that. That's one storyline I can't roll with. So let me see what we have here. Um, oh my gosh! So. Uh, yes, we're doing it. I'm going all out. Sorry, but we're definitely going to... <laughs> Claire is so funny. We're going to definitely... <laughs> uh, try to scare everybody with our nice little setup we have here. Make it super spooky. Let's put these here. <laughs> I just think she's so cute. She's so funny. Um, what else do we have? We need to put some pumpkins outside over here, you know. Put some right here. Put some here. Put a ghost over here. What is this? A cauldron. Where can we put this? I don't, I don't even know. I guess, where can we put this? Uh, I don't, we don't even have room. Okay, I guess we're not putting that down. Oh, ooh, yes. Some tombstones over here. Yes. Okay, I think that's enough. I don't want to go um, too far. Oh, wait. This is really cute. Sorry, y'all. I'm having a little bit a little bit too much fun. Okay, let's replace our, our light right here. Like I said, we will we'll put all that back after spooky day party is over. But, yeah, all right. We are ready um, really early, like seven hours early, uh, but I don't want this part to be like super long. So I'm going to just have her hang out around the house, fertilize her plants, and do all of that fun sorts of stuff for her career. And she's going to light the fire and just hang out and pump herself up, pick her outfit out and everything, her costume for the party tonight. And I will see y'all at 7 p.m. when it's time to get the party started. All right, y'all, so spooky party is about to begin. Let's go ahead and start the event. Oh, aw, I, I had their costumes picked out, but they changed their costumes on their own, so that's fine. Really, Claire, real attractive. <laughs> really? I mean, Scott's coming over, and that's what you choose to wear? Whatever. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> look at him, but look, y'all. I didn't do this. He wants to have his first kiss with Claire. I can't, I can't take it, y'all. I can't deal. I can't deal. Uh, I can't deal with the feelings. I can't. And what the hell? How are you even eating that, Carter? Interesting. So that is their choice of outfits. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, that's their choice of outfits. Um, I'm excited to see what everybody else is going to be wearing. Um, we've had trick-or-treaters coming in and out of our house. I put the little, uh, the, the thingy right here. <laughs> um, but unfortunately... <laughs> They, keep, they still decided they wanted to keep coming into our house. So, who is this? Who is this? Who we got here? Phila, or Ph not Philip, Philippe. <laughs> this is his buddy. So, let's come over here and, um, let's see, a uh, friendly, um, uh, ooh, ooh, uh, complain about Spooky Day? No, why would you do that? Discuss costume. Let's, yeah, let's, let's just talk about why are you cooking? <gasps> Look, they're out here carving pumpkins. I didn't even tell him to. Look at Scott. Oh, he's so cute. Is this... St oh, my God, Stevie. Look at her little baby bump. <gasps> Y'all, I love it. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, my God, there's so much going on right now. I can't. Okay. Um, I want her to come over here. Well, let's let them finish their pumpkins. I want them to do that. Why are you cooking? Why are you baking a cake? I mean, if you want to bake a cake, clear, go for it, girl. Um, Wyatt, I... no, we're not going to have a quick meal. I want you to come out here and, oh my gosh, we need to come out here. He hasn't even felt her baby bump yet, y'all. Ask for a party treat, request a carved pumpkin. Oh my gosh, we need to come over here and can we fill the baby's belly yet? Is is she big enough? Probably not. I think she's only in her first trimester, so we can't do that yet, which is unfortunate. But, I mean, we can definitely tell that she's pregnant. So, let's come over here and kiss her. Um, and then, yeah, let's have her. Well, she's she baking her cake? What is she doing? I guess she stopped. I'm so confused. I want her to come out here. Well, let's have her use the restroom first. All right, so Wyatt doesn't even know about Scott. He has no idea. So, I'm excited to see 
how this is going to go. Uh, but he's just like saying, hey, babe, I'm glad you're here. Uh, Ask to feel baby. <gasps> yes. And I got to get a picture. How freaking cute. Am I right or am I right? I mean, <laughs> hello. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. All right, so Clara, come over here, and uh, we got to give a romantic embrace to um, Scott, and we got to introduce him to a car. Who is this? Nolan Jackson. Um, where is Sophia? Prima Evans. No, no, no. Is <gasps> oh, my God. Look at her. Dalton? Dalton? He aged up? Dalton? Braswell? Dalton? Wait. He aged up? Hold hold up. What happened? He aged up? Dalton aged up, y'all? I had no idea. I, I didn't... Did I, I did I even invite him? Sorry, y'all. There's, like, so much going on. I'm just, like, all over the place, but... How bad do y'all want freaking witches in The Sims 4 now that you see how freaking cute Sophia looks right now? Carter, dude, what the hell? Get your ass up. We got a party. You are such a party pooper. Put back on your costume. Now come over here and freaking kiss your lady. I mean, she doesn't know, but come Harvest Fest, he's going to propose. Spoiler alert. Um... All right, yeah, let's have her come over here. He's like, wow, nice costume. Look at him flirting with her. He, he's like, wow, that's cute, you know? <laughs> I think it's charming. I think he thinks it's, you know, cute how she's not trying to be sexy, you know? Obviously, most people, when it comes to, you know, Halloween, it's a chance for girls to dress like skimpy and sexy and whatnot. And she's just, Clara, she's goofy. And so he's just laughing at her. He's like, no, you look really cute. So yeah, we need to have Wyatt come over here. And uh, he's he's looking like, what the hell? Let's uh, have a friendly introduction. She's like, yeah, um, this is my friend Wyatt. And this is my brother Carter, y'all. This is uh, my friend Scott. Um, who I've been telling y'all about, and he's like, no, you haven't told us anything. <laughs> Wyatt's like, what the hell? Wyatt, stop. I mean, there's too many cakes. There's too much cooking going on. Stop. Um, so yeah, we also have to have Clara come over here, and we need to talk to, okay, there's Stevie. There she is. They're in their costumes. I can't tell who is who, but we need to thank her for coming, and we need to ask to fill the baby. Ask for the baby's due date and just kind of say, you know what? I'm, I'm happy. Oh, wait. No, 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 I'm so confused. Wrong person. Okay, we've already done that. Oh, I love how Stevie's going over there and talking to our man. Oh, no, girl, honey. No. Back off. You already got one. You can't have the other. So, can we come over here and, um... I want to, are we, we're not friends, thank her for coming, we can't really hug her or anything yet, but I cannot believe Dalton has aged up, he is so cute, I'm going to have to give him a makeover, oh, he looks just like his dad, he doesn't look anything like Sophia, he has dark hair like his dad, that's really cute, okay, these two, wow, hi, get a room, um, but yeah, where's Carter, Carter, did you introduce yourself, no, come introduce yourself, to Mr. Scott, who looks like a freaking snack. Um, so she is having a conversation with Stevie and Wyatt and Scott. They're all in a, and Carter. They're all you know talking about you know how she has been seeing Scott and how they're so happy for Stevie and Wyatt. And look at his face. He is so annoyed. Y'all, did y'all see his face? He's like really annoyed that she has. A guy over that she's seeing somebody oh my <gasps> look I can't even I can't wow like I can't force this stuff y'all this is proof right here that I don't force anything it's so obvious and so natural the feelings that they have for each other he is so freaking annoyed <laughs> I love it. Like, I'm about to have so much fun with this, y'all. don't even know, but it looks like she's coming over here to uh, fill the baby. She's like, yeah. 
Oh, he's like cussing. He's so irritated. He's looking at Carter like, dude, what the hell is going on? And uh, Scott's just so oblivious. Like, he doesn't know. He doesn't get the feelings. He's he's the only other person probably that doesn't get it. But he's like, dude, what's your problem? Why are you cussing? Why are you going crazy? Calm down. Um, but let's have her come over here and embrace him. Get a little bit romantic. Let's just piss Wyatt off some more. And I don't think she's doing it maliciously. But I think she is kind of just kind of showing him and proving her point that look at him y'all <gasps> I'm freaking out look at his face he's so upset <gasps> oh y'all what am I going to do? Like, I just want him to go kiss her right now. Confess his love. I want them to be together. Just because I'm not forcing this. I'm not. But he, like, Stevie's talking to him, and he's just like, bull crap. This is bull crap. Bull crap. Ah, uh, okay. No, wrong person. We're going to have Clara. I really want them to have a, a first kiss, but I'm definitely not going to do that in front of everybody. I mean, that's just a little bit too much, and she's she's not going to be like that. Definitely not. So, what does she want to do? Trick or treat. Um, can we, like... I want them to... Can we... I don't think we can. Yeah, let's add a group. I really want them to come out here and maybe, like, have a little bit of a long time. She really kind of wants to kiss him and just kind of see. I think he kind of wants to kiss her, too. And Abella wants to kiss somebody. Oh, my gosh. She's leaving hairballs freaking everywhere. Oh. But, yeah, she wants to kiss somebody. She's in heat. <laughs> um, oh, gosh. Okay, yeah. Let's note. Let's not go to bed. We're not doing that right now. Can we... Thank him for coming uh, because it looks like the party will be wrapping up shortly. Let's just give him an embrace. <gasps> he did okay. Apparently, he's not so oblivious. <sighs> he is like definitely caught on to Wyatt giving him the cold shoulder and it doesn't take a freaking rocket scientist to figure out what the issue is so he's like is there something going on that you're not telling me and she's like what no why why in the world does everybody think that no he's he's got a girlfriend she's pregnant he's like yeah but I mean there's obviously something that he's he's into you he was not very nice to me she's like no no, there's nothing going on. I promise. I, I mean, I like you. And he's like, okay, well, maybe we should just, you know, maybe take it down a notch. I mean, I, I just feel awkward. And she's like, well, I mean, what do you mean? I feel awkward now. What do you mean you feel awkward? I feel awkward. Look how red his cheeks are. I'm so confused at what's going on. Where's he at? He's using the restroom. He's about to pee himself. Oh, okay, so... Apparently, that was a flop. I wanted her to get romantic with Scott and just kind of take their relationship to the next level, but why it didn't mean to ruin everything, he really did. And okay, I love how he wants to woohoo with Stevie, but have his first kiss with Clara. He's he is so torn right now and honestly i really do feel for him honest to goodness i really really do but it looks like everybody is leaving so no you're not going to sleep we're not doing that i want him to come over here and uh can we like just talk to her i don't know i don't want to like drag this out too much but just he has no idea all dalton was in there it looks like he was going in there to try to talk to carter but he's asleep but Anyways, just kind of talk to her and be like, I didn't know you was seeing somebody. You know, it was kind of unexpected, but good for you. And she's like, yeah, um, it was good seeing Stevie. Um, but, you no, know wait, can I just say that what is going on? Because apparently Stevie thinks there's something going on between us and Scott does too, and Scott, get out of the conversation. We're talking about you. You can't be here. This is just making it ten times worse. 
Oh my god, it's like a love triangle. Literally a freaking spooky day love triangle. Can we just take a second? I mean, hello. That is hilarious. Oh, poor Scott. Like, you're not making the situation any better, Claire, at all. Not, not, a th no, girl. You need to calm down. Um, okay, look, can we... I mean, I tried to get romantic with him. I tried to flirt with him, but why are you still here? I mean, the party's over. Are you going to be a flirty now? Are you going to receive my compliments? Um, I guess we need to ask him to leave. Spooky day is over. Um, cool. It was successful. All right, so it looks like she's going to tell him goodbye. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this part up now. Y'all, let me know what y'all think because... I'm so confused. I had these plans and they just were shattered. Um, I had high hopes for her and Scott because I really like Scott and Scott really likes Clara. And that's why I kind of broke his heart to, to obviously see the way Carter was looking at her and the way he reacted to her bringing him to the party. He was not expecting it and it was all over his freaking face. Uh, so, yeah, I think Claire has got some explaining to do. I think they definitely need to have a talk, and uh, I think we're going to save that for the next part because this part is going to drag it out, I feel like. So, I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, stay tuned for the conversation that these two are going to be having about, obviously, the feelings that they can't deny anymore, the feelings they can't hide. Everybody knows it. Everybody can see it. What are they going to do? So, yeah, let me know in the comments down below what y'all are thinking. Um, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you like her outfit, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. And with that being said, I will talk to y'all later.